Hello, it's Mr. Watt here, and I'm going to show you how to model this Lego block here in Inventor. All right, first things first, um, well, let's take a look at this drawing. It looks as though it is in millimeters, so we want a metric drawing. This is 32 for the length. Makes sense it would be in millimeters. So just click on the new button right there. We want to choose metric and standard millimeters right there. Let's create drawing. So first thing, sir, so if we take a look at our drawing, it's best to break it down into parts. So we see it's a nice uh, block there. So we'll start with a rectangular uh, rectangular sketch and extrude it from there. Okay, so we just wait while it loads. Here we go. So first things first, we always start with a sketch. So I'll click on the 2D sketch button. We'll click on uh, one of the planes. You can choose whichever one you want. Um, you notice how it rotated it. Uh, right here, so I want to rotate back, so uh, the top is top. Click on the rectangle, I'm clicking on the middle home button there. And you notice how those, uh, the different dimensions show there. I could type in specific dimensions, like 32, press enter. Um, or what I can do, if I typed in the wrong one, let's double click and type in number of my choice. There, I typed in 32 and I want 16 on the side right here. There we go. And notice how everything is fully constrained. We'll say on the bottom right there and the colors will change to a dark purple. Okay. Finish sketch. What do I want to do with this sketch? You make a sketch in order to make it into a 3D shape and we're going to do that using the extrude button there right so we click on it and right away automatically it pops out for me let's take a look at our drawing we want our block to be nine millimeters high so let's go back to inventor type in nine press enter and we're good to go next it's time to add some of these uh, circular bits on the top notice that it has a radius of 2.5 so a diameter of five and that it's four and four from the corner. So let's go back to our um, our block here. And how do we how do we do that? Again, we start with a sketch. So I click on sketch. Click on the side that I want. I'm going to click on the, the top. I'm going to rotate that over. And here we just have to uh, instead of using a line, we're just using a circle. Click there. And again, I can just type in right away. Enter five and press enter, and it'll create that for me. And if we take a look here, we want it to be four and four from this side. So you don't have to add any extra lines. All you have to do is go to dimension, click on the edge of the circle, click on an edge here. There we go. Now it pops off. Four millimeters from there. Four millimeters there. And so what I could do, I could create you know all eight of these. It'd be a little tedious. Um, you know, I'll show that show that example there. I could create one another one here. And you know, you'd have to dimension it again. This here is eight away. And you notice how it's not perfectly constrained. I can still move this up and down, okay? As long as this, you know, still keeps it eight away. But I don't want that. I want it to be horizontally aligned. So I'm gonna use something called a horizontal constraint. And if you don't know what any of these constraints, what they are, just leave your mouse on top of it and I'll give you a description. And what it does. So click horizontal constraint, click on the middle, center of that circle, center of this one, and it lines it up perfectly. I'll finish the sketch. I'll show you um, how it looks like if I extrude these. Okay, I can bring them down or I can type in a specific size. Let's take a look here. It's 1.5 for the height. So I'll type in 1.5. Okay, so that's one way of doing it. And again, I could, if I want to edit that, I can right click, edit sketch. I could add more circles to it. But I'll show you an easier way. I'm actually going to delete this circle. Just select it and press the delete button. Um, I also deleted my constraint, my dimension there. So let's add that back. Finish sketch. Accept. Just have to delete that. Okay, here we go. Let's make an extrusion from that sketch. 1.5, good to go. So, like I said, an easier way to do that is actually use a pattern, okay? So if you notice something that has a reoccurring feature, like in this case, uh, those circular top bits, 
we can use a pattern here. So I click on the feature. So you notice how it's red. If it's red, it means something needs to be chosen. So I click on that arrow and I cl click on the feature I want. You can see it turns white. That means something's been chosen. Now I need to choose a direction. Okay, so by direction, all you have to do is click on the line in the direction that you want. I want something going that direction. Notice how it's going the wrong way. Nope. Right there, flip. I want four and they're going to be eight apart. And look how these line up nicely. It gives you a little preview. Again, I'm going to do it in the other direction. I need two, and again, they're going to be eight apart. Click on OK, and there you go. See, that's a lot easier than making eight of those individually or making um, eight sketches and, and doing all the dimensioning and stuff like that. Okay, so what we want to do now, we want to make the bottom. You notice how there's a hidden line here. The dotted line's a hidden line. That means uh, it's hollow on the bottom, and that there's these three circular features on the bottom as well. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to rotate. You can either use the block here or you can hold on shift and the middle mouse button to rotate. I'm going to make a sketch right on the bottom. Okay, here we go. What I could do, I could create a rectangle here and then with the dimension, dimension each between each of these, make them 1.5 and so on. That's one way of doing it. But here, I'll show you a little shortcut. It's all drafting, it's all about uh, trying to do things you know, most efficiently as possible. I'm going to use something called project geometry. And what that does, it takes previously made feature, previously made geometry, and you know, let's click in the center. And see, so notice how it makes lines all the way around. It makes a, it creates edges of a previously made feature. And what I want to do here is something called offset. And let's just see here, yes, there it is. It's under modify, we have the offset button right there. What does, see it duplicates a sketch, so I'm gonna click right here. It'll duplicate that sketch. Nice, everything's even. 1.5 all the way around, press enter. And there we have that, and you can see, yep, my 1.5 is there, and everything's fully constrained. Uh, press, okay. And so now what I wanna do is extrude. So I click on the inside surface. And instead of going out, I wanna go in. So I push in. Again, notice how right here, there's three different options. The first one is to add material. Second one is to cut. Last one's um, it's the it's the difference. Um, notice how it changes to the cutting as I go in, and it turns red. Okay, so I'm gonna go up. Um, this here is nine. It's one point five around, so that's gonna bring me to seven and a half. Seven point five. Enter. Good. Looking great. So now what I want to do? I'm just focusing on the bottom bit. Um, I'm gonna make a sketch there because I want to make these these three features just like that. And I notice how this is a diameter six, diameter five, sorry, diameter eight, those are actually incorrect. Um, what you wanna do is have these outer circles, have them tangent to uh, the circles that we have on top. So how's that gonna look like? Okay, well, I'll show you again. We have, we're in sketch mode right now. I'm just gonna rotate to the other side and I'm gonna use that project geometry again. And what I'm gonna do is just click on right there, that service. And what it does, notice how the, you see the circles and the edges highlight. That's gonna create those lines on the bottom, just like that, beautiful. Okay, so now what I wanna do is create some circles. I have three circles, and for now, uh, just you know, roughly place them. It doesn't really matter what size or anything. Since we don't know exactly the size, again, I said this, these two sizes are incorrect. Um, what I want you to do is use, we're going to use a different constraint. This one's called a tangent. Notice how using tangent constraint makes a line or a curve tangent to a circle or to another curve, okay? Tangent means it touches only at one point. So I click here, click on this circle, okay, they're touching. I click on this circle, okay, now they're touching. I want these ones to be tangent as well. And notice how now it's purple. So after three points, it's, it's locked in that place. It's not going anywhere, okay? Same thing with, uh, with the other one. So we just repeat uh, tangent here and there, tangent there, we do tangent here, tangent across, and the tangent to that one. Okay, good. So now they're purple, we're good to go. Um, I'm gonna make a circle in the middle of them, and I'll make this one here, uh, let's make it diameter five. And again, down to five, okay. OK. 
good. Now I can finish sketch. So it looks kind of crazy with all the, um, the yellow lines, but um, this they, it helped us to create the feature that we want and making them tangent to all, all uh, four, three of those circles makes these three uh, circles here perfectly lined up in the middle um, of, of each one. Okay, so now we want to use extrude and instead of choosing the out piece, outer piece there, we want to choose in between and that's perfect. And so what we, what can we do here? It's already set at 7.5, which would be the size we want, but see if we didn't know. You know, we're like, uh, I'm not sure. You know, you don't want to eyeball it. You want to be exact. So there's something here. Right now we're just using distance, you know, a specific distance that we that we say. Um, but instead of that, I want you to have to click on two. And so what that does, you get to choose a surface and it'll extrude right to that surface there. And press check mark and you're good to go. Look at that. Okay, so our block is just about done. One last thing. What we want to do, if we take a look right here, is that there's these little holes just about here that goes uh, 1.5 deep. Okay? And um, I'll open up there. Very yeah, good. So, what I want to do is make a sketch on the bottom again. And what I'm going to have to do is project geometry once again. And this time I'll click on this surface because it, it'll include all the circles. And what I want, that circle that I want, oh, come on, there we go. The circle that I want is has a radius of one. So click on circle. Um, you know, I could click my circle right here, and radius of one, that means diameter two. So I could do that. Um, and then I could, you know, see if you did that, you could use cocentric constraint, and what that does, it makes two circles have the same center point, you know? And notice how it's purple, it's all locked in. Also, what I could have done, I could have just, notice how um, when I bring my mouse there, it turns green. That would that would do the same thing, okay? So uh, what I could do, I could do each one individually, or I could use a pattern again. Um, use whatever whatever works for you. I'm gonna use a pattern, because I find it's, it's uh, quicker, it's uh, simpler more efficient and that's what you know like again like what I said that's what it's all about so I'll, I want to cut so I'm gonna press the cut button and I'm only going 1.5 1.5 there we go cut at 1.5 and now I want to use a pattern again so you can pattern features that are extruded but also features that are um, that are cut and I want to go in that direction I want four of them eight I go in the other direction nope I'm going to flip that go in the wrong direction. Two of them, yep. That's eight. Press OK. And there you have it. You have your Lego block fully, fully done. All right, thanks for watching the video. Hope this was helpful. And uh, I hope uh, that you have some uh, good drafting. See you later.